see that stupid you are doing a dirty bird. But I mean, if I was excited. I'd do it again. And, you know, give me a chance, go to Super Bowl. I'd do dirty bird again. It's a sad day in the Atlanta Falcons franchise. All the former players, including myself, the fans. This hits home. This hits because the fact that, yes, I watched the years when Primetime and all those other players, you know, played in the organization. But see, I didn't understand the concept of football then. I just knew, oh, you know, hey, there's the end zone. It goes into that little T thing, you know. I didn't really know it. I was still young myself then. But it was around that time I started grasping the concept of football. Because, you know, of course, I watched it with my father. Um, but I was watching a lot of teams at that time because he loved, you know, he loved football. He was a Falcons fan, but he also enjoyed just football. So that's just how I developed my love for the sport first and foremost. So um, Dan Reeves have passed away at the age of 77 and his family has left a statement to the NFL Network Um I said a legendary NFL player and coach Dan Reeves passed away early this morning peacefully and surrounded by his loving family at his home in Atlanta, Georgia. He passed away at age 77 due to complications from a long illness. His legacy will continue through his many friends, players and fans, as well as the rest of the NFL community. Arrangements are still to be determined. I already know the former players, you know, and we've had a couple of those legendary players on our show. If you go back and um, catch some of those interviews that he they talked about Dan Reeves. I'm actually going to go back and try to find some clips of what they were saying about that. But it's some gems there that we learned. So y'all will be informed. I'll probably go find that rewind for you guys. So look out for that next. But I actually skipped school. Me and my twin sister, we skipped school that day of that very parade they're dancing at just to see it because it was a lifetime memory. I knew it was a, a opportunity that we probably wasn't going to see again because for one thing, that Atlanta Falcons team was not even expected to be there. It was just a miracle and a, a, something that snapped really well. It worked at the right time. For one thing, it was just an electrifying time with those Dirty Bird dances. And it was like schools all over doing it. Atlanta Falcons do that Dirty Bird. Ah, ah, ah. And please ignore my voice. Unfortunately, I'm under the weather. Um, COVID is kind of close right about now to me. Um, some people in my family got ill. So, yeah, I'm feeling it today. So but I had to report this because it's true to my heart. This hurts me definitely you know I'm deeply saddened by this news um you know you know the Falcons went and won the NFC in the 1998 season and he it was his second season as a head coach that's why I say you know give Arthur Smith a chance you know give Arthur Smith a chance just give him time like don't you know cast him out first year it's going to take some time, you know, but um, Matt Mike is going to do like a more in-depth detail. You know, he wants to do a nice tribute to him. So y'all tune into that once he gets that uploaded. But let's go ahead and get into some additional updates. Looks like we have activated defensive tackle Tyler Davison from the reserve COVID-19 list. <laughs> How ironic is that? I'm talking about covid um, and we have signed offensive tackle Rick Leonard um, this Friday. Um, so with that being said, that's all I got as far as the news today. Um, you already know it's kind of the holiday. It's the weekend. Um, not a lot of things going on. So um, just prepare yourselves for the show tomorrow. I believe we're going to have a Sunday morning pre-show as well as, of course, you got the game tomorrow. All right, people, y'all be safe out there. I tell you guys, wear your mask, do all that. I've been doing all of that. But of course, when it's in your family, it's in your family. So I'm going to try to, you know, rest it up, juice it up, vitamin C it up and just get better because I haven't taken the test yet, but I'm feeling it. So 
All right, people, appreciate you guys. This is Atlanta Falcons Nation, and we are the nation, and I'm out. Peace.